Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'll be teaching you guys how to insert some cool stuff in Word 2013. So the first thing you can insert under this insert tab is a signature line. So go ahead and click this drop down menu right here and click Microsoft Office signature line. And you can fill out the information over here. And once you're ready, just simply click OK. As you can see, a signature line will appear automatically in Word. So this is a really simple topic. And you can also insert something called date and time. By clicking this date and time, you can insert all the available formats of date and time. So let's just click this one. And make sure you have this update automatically checkbox checked. I'll just show you what it means later. So when I click OK, the time is 10.40 p.m. 18 seconds. And if I save it, and close it and reopen it as you can see the time automatically updates to 10 40 30 p.m. and the reason is because remember we click this up update automatically when we select the format so whenever you open it it's gonna update automatically to the time that you open it then you can insert something called equation which is just as it sound all sorts of complicated equations you can insert new equation and this design equation tool is going to pop up with all those complicated looking math signs which you can browse around and once we're done with that we can go back and insert symbols which is pretty much the same thing all those complicated symbols that you don't really need but it's just there at your disposal then there's something called the object so what the object is is it basically allows you to insert like Excel graph or PowerPoint slide in there because come on, it's 2013, we're, we're lazy people. We don't want to click around. We want to have our PowerPoint slide in our Word document. So to insert a document into the Word document, so let's say I want to insert a PowerPoint into this Word document, click this drop down menu, click object, and you can either create a new PowerPoint or you can create from file. I'll just get one from my file. Let's say I insert this PowerPoint and I click OK. It's going to take a while to load. So as you can see, this PowerPoint just pops up in my Word document. So if I double click on it, it automatically goes to this PowerPoint. So I could play this PowerPoint and if I click escape, it's going to pop back up to this Windows. And if you don't want to create, uh, you don't want to get your PowerPoint from your file or USB or your hard drive, you can create a new PowerPoint. So let's say I want to create a new PowerPoint presentation. Click OK. You can just create whatever PowerPoint presentation you want. Let's just create something really random. Pick this design and I'll just and you can just create it as you are creating a PowerPoint in Microsoft PowerPoint but now you're creating it in Word so I can add a couple more new slides put some random text in it and once I'm done just click elsewhere and as you can see this PowerPoint will be here and same thing I double click on it it's gonna work see this is my PowerPoint because you know Word makes it easy for us lazy people who doesn't want to like you know click around whenever we have to click to enter the document we could just you know, simply insert it into our Word document make everyone's life easier and this is the end of my tutorial please rate comment subscribe and like and please don't hesitate to comment on the comment box below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time